Just tell me the truth. Are you finishing with me? What? No. So why are you doing this? Babe, I've told you, it's an amazing opportunity for me. Four months is not that long. Oh, it's four months now? Yeah. People have long-distance relationships all the time. It don't mean we can't speak to each other every day. You're right. I'm sorry. I, I know right laying all this on you. Hey, don't be like that. I love that you're honest with me. Most men would rather run a mile than admit the vulnerability. Instead, it's you running a thousand of them. Look at me. We are going to make this work, OK? Because... Because? I love you. And I don't think I'd realised how much until just now. I love you too. Maybe four months isn't so bad, huh? So it's OK, then. I don't have any choice in the matter. Thank you. There must be something else you can give me. Oh, my God, he actually went for it. Yeah, took some convincing mind. Well, you don't want him too keen for you to go. Mm. So what do you think swung it? I, um... I told him I loved him. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I finally found a guy who's in touch with his emotions. He worships the ground I walk on, and as far as I can tell, he's not having it away with one of my best mates. Hey, you never know. When you get back, he might be your happy ever after. Do you think so? Well, he said he loves you, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, and you told him you love him. Yeah, I did. Well, there you are, then. Look, four months from now, you get your dream man. And I get this little one. I can't believe it's actually going to happen. <laughs> Come on. Oh. How about this one? Ah, one of them thatched roofs. One of them old-fashioned oven thingies. An auger? Yeah, cos that'll be really useful when you go into labour. Look, it's in the middle of nowhere, you daft thing. Yeah, well, no-one will see me. Uh, but you're more likely to stand out. And what about your hospital appointments? How are you going to do that when you haven't got a car? Yeah, good point. Didn't think of that. No, you need to be looking at somewhere close to a big town, you know, with lots of buses and trains. Far enough away, but not so far that I can't pop and see you. Hey, visitor for you. Keep popping in this often, I'm gonna have to take you on as a barmaid. Very funny. Now, if you don't mind. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, of course. Can't keep away from me, you, can you? <laughs> so, I've been having a little think about this trip of yours. Mm hmm. Not changed your mind, have you? No, I think it's great that you're doing your thing, which is why. I'm going to do the same. You going to do a beauty course? <laughs> no, not quite. Listen, we love each other, right? Yeah. So why spend four months apart from each other when we don't need to? You were right about him, man. He can look after the office while I work remotely. There's a couple of conferences I can network at. It might even be worth my while taking the bar exam. Um, the bar exam, I'm sorry you've lost me. I'm talking about America. I'm going to take four months off and fly out with you. Ages, aren't they? I wonder what he came round for. It's a mad idea. It's a great idea. Eva, I can't handle being away from you for four days, never mind four months. The only thing keep me sane around here. <laughs> really? Yeah, just with work and my mum. Going away to the States with my gorgeous girlfriend, it's just what I need. Look, if you're in conferences all day and I'm studying, we're never going to see each other. I work around your hours. Babe, I'm going to be working really long hours. It's going to be so hard for us to spend time together. When we do, think of all the amazing things we can do. States have some of the most amazing road trips on the planet. Route 66, Pacific Coast Highway. Think about it, you and me in the open road. We might never come back. Adam. I don't want you to come with me. 